Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Neuron Films. Today we're going to continue our iPhone tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover privacy and the privacy settings within your iPhone. As individuals I believe we should all protect our privacy and uh, your phone is probably one of the first steps you could probably and one of the first places you could start off by. So going up, opening your privacy uh, settings section, um, mine is the setting application is right here. I'm circling on the screen. Also, you can scroll down on your iPhone screen and search for um, settings. And what you're going to do is just launch it from right there as well. And take you straight to settings. Now in settings, you're going to scroll down just a little bit where it says privacy. Have it highlighted on the screen. Go to privacy. And here you have a list of uh, applications and uh, within these applications it says as application request access to your data they will be added into the categories above so these are areas like for example location services let's just stop from start from top to bottom location services um, you have the standard it's gonna show you applications that you've let to use your location and most apps honestly the only reason they'll use your location is if you're let's say you're looking for apps or you're taking pictures or you're posting a tweet or a Facebook post, uh, those social media websites will actually use that location and pinpoint it to that photo. That way, where whenever you took that photo, whenever you post it on Facebook, um, all the people that look at it will be able to know where you took that photo and uh, like at what time. And most of the time, people don't really need that extra information. But you, there is an option for you to do that if you'd like to. But as you can see, I have some here that are disabled, like a Safari, Shazam, doesn't need to know my location, nor does Twitter need to know my location either. So that's what those basically are. And then contacts, these are apps that actually have access to your contacts or within your actual contacts list and sometimes you can let that do it because that, let's say you're trying to find friends that would be the best way to do it is letting these apps access to your contacts now calendars there's also it says applications that have requested access to your calendars will appear here just like in with any other one of these like apl applications that wanted access to my photos example will be the ones in here and some applications you do need to be able to access your photos regarding in order to so you can post it on that uh, application. Let's say, for example, Instagram. It acts. It it it's a uh, required that it asks you that you give it permission to access your photos, which is what I did. I let gave it permission, which is right here, Instagram, and uh, that way I can post photos that I've taken from my photo album to Instagram. And then that's just that's just uh, the basic. Now then also you got Bluetooth sharing, the same thing, apps that want to use your Bluetooth, microphone, apps that want to use your microphone. That's basically apps with uh, trans like a translator app will most likely ask to use your microphone. And then motion activity, that's like a health app or if you're doing uh, exercising, that's really good OB applications, which is looks like I do no exercising because I don't have any health applications here. But iOS 8 is going to offer a built-in health app, which is going to be pretty cool. I, I can't wait for that. And then also you have their basic social media like Twitter and Facebook, and it shows uh, applications that have requested access to your Twitter account will be here. So it looks like Twitter has accessed my Twitter account, and that, that just makes sense. Then you have basic advertising as well. But other than that, be sure to go through here, like go, especially location services. Go through and take a look at what apps do you want to them to use your location service. What, what apps one do you want to allow to use location? What apps don't need your location? It's that's I think that's very important. But other than that, you guys, that's the basics of privacy. Catch you guys next tutorial. Be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below. And uh, later. Let my life be the proof. The